Hi, for this video I'll be going over pull wizard and thread features. So in order to do so I create a very simple extrusion part uh, with a circular base so it will be a cylinder um, very similar to what we did in the extrusion and extruder cut video. So now I want to make a hole so later on we would a be able to a, um, insert a screw. So in a feature step above there's a hole wizard that we can click and this will generate a different hole type and different hole specs and end condition and so on. We're only going to be worried about um, straight tap hole which means that it'll make a hole with inner thread so you can add a screw into it. So on this left side there's hole type and out of nine features the one that is second row to the far left column is called straight tap that has dash line concentric to the, the hole. If we click this, it will show different standard and type. And we're out of different standard, we're only going to use ISO, the international standard, and go with the bottoming tap hole. For the hole specs, there are several different sizes that we can go about. This is called M screw. And what number tells right next to the M usually means the diameter of the screw. So for example, if it's M5, you can imagine that the screw will be five millimeter diameter. Let's go with M10. And you can choose the end condition. How I've explained before in the extrusion, there's through all which goes all the way through or you can do up to surface, so uh, making a hole up to certain surface, or blind, so you can just manually type the distance of the thread. Let's go through all, so we can create a hole all the way through. Now, since we finished uh, configuring the type, we go to positions. So if you click position, it'll ask you to create or click the surface. So we can click, like I said before, on a different planes or any of the surface of this part. So we'll click this one of the surface and it'll generate this um, circle which is the size of M10 screw that we picked. So then I'll, what I will basically do is click whatever number of holes that you want to. Now it's okay if we, for example, right now clicked five holes, but later on if you want to create seven holes, for example, we can always add a little more by copying and pasting. So for now, let's say five screws. So we'll click just five times randomly on this surface and click escape to just uh, escape this hole. So now we need to define because the uh, centers are blue dots, which means that it's not fully defined. It can move around. So we'll add whatever sketch we can do, uh, how we do in the extrusion or extruded cut. But this time, this sketch will be used as a reference for this, these holes to be placed. So click polygon, let's say, and click the center. And I'll use a smart dimension. Um, actually, I'll just click here. Five sides because we created five uh, holes. And I'll use the smart dimension get the distance, let's say, uh, uh, 25. Now, to define this by setting it horizontal, and this is fully defined, and I'll just click and drag this, these holes to the tip of this um, polygon. Now, you can do rectangles or circle or whichever shape that you want to, as long as this will help you to reference the position of these holes. Now that this is set, we'll click OK at the hole position, and it'll make your hole. Since this is a simplified version, it wouldn't show the thread, but as this shows the concentric circles to the hole, 
is, it represents the uh, inner thread of this, this hole. So this will basically be not just a straight hole, but actually a threaded hole that you can insert a screw. Similarly, we can do a thread, which basically means to the shaft, uh, outer surface of the shaft, we can create a outer thread that we can put a nut um, on it, like a knock, lock nut or um, when you do uh, um, bolt it down to different parts. Let's imagine this is this outer uh, shaft is a uh, it has a threaded part. Um, we'll go over here and we can do the drop down menu, uh, pull wizard, and it will show a thread. So we'll click that, and basically what it shows is that it will ask you for a thread location, which is a edge of this cylinder part. So click this, like this edge. Right now, this is very, it doesn't look any similar to a thread because this is a very small thread that it just looks like a, a, a surface. So if you go to specification, um, let's go with metric die, so metric version. So instead of M1.2, which is smallest, we'll go with M10. Um, 1.0 and for the end condition let's do up to selection and up to this surface I guess the M10 is very small so let's increase this so we can see better um, I click M30 uh, 3.5 um, but basically what I did is that I click this edge and from this to the end condition, which is to this surface, I'll be creating a uh, metric die of M30. So this can also be actually be a screw itself because it has the outer thread. Um, what this times 3.5 means is it's the length between the each rotation of this tip of this thread to the next one. But you wouldn't have to worry about this for this uh, video. Only thing that we uh, be considering is what's the diameter of this um, screws. So click OK and it will generate a threaded part onto this part. And this concludes the pole wizard and thread feature.